Hi, and welcome to the second part of these tutorials. For this course, we are going to use Visual Studio 2017, which currently is in preview edition. C Sharp can be used in a Windows based, web based, or console application. To start with, we will create a console application. For that, click on the file, New, Project. From the pop up, under Installed, select Visual C Sharp and then .NET Core. And then select Console App from the middle column. In the Name section, give any appropriate name. I will name it C Sharp. Next, choose a location where you want to create all the project files. I will leave the default one. And then define a solution name for which I will just write C Sharp Tutorials. Click the OK button to create the project. Program.cs will be created as a default.cs file in Visual Studio, where you can write your own C Sharp code. The first line that you see in here is a using system. The using keyword is used to include the system namespace in the program. Program generally has multiple using statements. The next line has the namespace declaration. A namespace is basically a collection of classes, and in this case, the namespace C sharp contains the program class. The next line has a class declaration. The class program contains the data and method definitions that your program uses. Classes generally contain multiple methods, and methods define the behavior of the class. However, the program class has only one method named main. In the next line, the main method has been defined, which is the entry point for all C -sharp programs. In here, we see that another method named right line will be executed. Right line is a method of the console class defined in the system namespace. This system causes the message hello world to be displayed on the screen. If you want to see the result in your screen, then simply click the Ctrl F5 button or go to Debug. Start without debugging. And here you see hello world. So guys, this is all for this part. On the next one, we are going to learn what is a C-sharp class. For that, see you on the next one.